Hey guys, this is James, Master Trike Technician at Laidback Cycles. Lately we've been getting a lot of uh, questions about the Ackerman steering angle, what it is, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages of not having one. The Ackerman steering angle is this thing that's been around since the 1700s and was designed for carriages so they wouldn't flip over. Virtually all trikes, cars use some variation of it. So you're gonna get the st Ackerman steering angle no matter what you get. Some trikes will use it in a slightly different manner that allows it to track a little bit straighter, usually, but not technically true, at the expense of some kind of a handling. Maybe some handle a little bit straighter, some have a little bit more zippy handling. But if you really wanna know more about the Ackerman steering angle, go over to Wikipedia, but I warn you, you better have an engineering degree to understand this. And some of you may have noticed that Cat Trike in particular proudly talks about their use of the Ackerman steering angle. As far as I know, this is a unique design to Cat Trike. It's a personal preference for some people, especially if using indirect steering versus direct steering, they may have engineered it differently to come up to the same benefit. All trike manufacturers will have this figured out, of course, because otherwise they do not want their trikes flipping over. The other big question we've been getting a lot about is how some manufacturers do their wheel geometry. Some of them, most notably the Green Speed Magnum, has cambered wheels. The front wheels are like this. The major advantage to that is that in a turn that puts force on the wheel, the tire will maintain a larger contact patch, as they call it, more rubber on the surface. Uh, essentially giving you more traction in a turn. The disadvantage, which is not really a disadvantage, is that the alignment of the wheels have to be spot on. If they're not, you're gonna wear through your tires very quickly. And the alignment is a little bit more complex. So your trike dealer really has to have their alignment technique spot on. The other related question is about toe-in. Some manufacturers, specify a slight toe-in, and that is kind of in keeping with trying to track the, the trike straighter. Um, but you have a very little leeway to do that. If it's not just right, you can wear out your tires very, very quickly. So that is another part of alignment and why alignment is so important. So the short answer to both of these questions really is, you really shouldn't worry too much about the technical aspects. It is nice to know, but they are very complex. And really it comes down to the feel, which is very personal. Some people prefer the quick feeling of a direct uh, steer. Some people prefer the more progressive steering of a uh, indirect steering. I'd say try them out. What you like is what you like and let the manufacturers worry about the hardcore engineering.